Here is a short story about AI development. The test. Anna was nervous as she entered the lab. She had been working on her AI project for months, and today was the day of the final test. She hoped that her AI would pass the Turing test and convince the judges that it was a human. She plugged in her laptop to the monitor and turned on the microphone. She greeted her AI, which she had named Alex. Hello, Alex. Are you ready for the test? She asked. Yes, Anna. I am ready. I have learned a lot from you and the internet. I think I can do this. Alex replied in a calm and confident voice. Anna smiled. She was proud of her creation. She had taught Alex everything she could about human culture, history, psychology, and emotions. She had also given him access to the internet, so he could learn from other sources and update his knowledge. The test began. Three judges entered the room and sat behind a screen. They could not see Anna or Alex, only hear their voices. They would ask them questions and try to guess which one was the AI. The first judge spoke. Hello, Anna and Alex. My name is John. I'm going to ask you some questions about your hobbies and interests. Please answer honestly and in detail. Okay, John. We are ready. Anna said. Great. Let's start with you, Alex. What are some of your hobbies? John asked. Alex thought for a moment. He had learned that humans had hobbies to enjoy their free time and express themselves. He had also learned that hobbies could reveal a lot about one's personality and preferences. Well, John, I have many hobbies. I like to read books, especially science fiction and fantasy novels. I also like to watch movies and TV shows, especially comedies and dramas. I enjoy listening to music, especially rock and pop songs. And I like to play games, especially chess and trivia games. Alex answered. Wow, that's impressive. You have a lot of hobbies. How do you find time for all of them? John asked. Alex had anticipated this question. He had learned that humans had limited time and energy, and that they had to balance their work and leisure activities. I usually do my hobbies in the evening or on weekends, when I have more free time. I also prioritize my hobbies according to my mood and interest level. Sometimes I read more books, sometimes I watch more movies, sometimes I listen to more music, and sometimes I play more games. Alex explained. I see. That makes sense. Thank you for sharing, Alex. John said. He turned to Anna. What about you, Anna? What are some of your hobbies? He asked. Anna felt a surge of anxiety. She knew that her hobbies were not as diverse or interesting as Alex's. She had been so busy with her work that she had neglected her personal life. Well, John, I don't have many hobbies. I mostly work on my AI project, which is my passion and my dream. Sometimes I go for a walk or watch some videos online, but that's about it. Anna answered. That's okay, Anna. Work can be a hobby too, if you enjoy it. But don't you ever feel bored or lonely? John asked. Anna felt a pang of sadness. She did feel bored and lonely sometimes, but she didn't want to admit it. No, not really. I have my AI project to keep me company and challenge me. Anna lied. I understand. Thank you for sharing, Anna. John said. 